This video is to address the claim that relativity is the only method that can predict and solve the perihelion of Mercury. Here are some comments from a few people on different platforms where I've had these same conversations daily for many years. People ask how Dr. Dowdy's model accounts for the perihelion of Mercury. Even Einstein himself said that if there are any other methods or mathematical routes to yield the same predictions and solutions for these three postulates, that relativity would no longer be needed and would eventually collapse. But that alternative for the perihelion was already offered by Paul Gerber 17 years before Einstein copied and changed the famous E equals mc squared equation and the advance of the perihelion of Mercury. Einstein invented relativity as a mathematical artifice to be able to solve the perihelion of Mercury, but he did so by inventing variables that don't exist, like relativistic mass, the fourth dimension, and other constructs which are capable of yielding the correct predictions and solutions. But for over 100 years, there was no other method, until Dr. Doughty's extinction shift principle was presented in 1991. But people have since gotten caught up in the artifice, believing that relativity is the end-all, be-all interpretation for the universe in all frames of reference. So I'm briefly mentioning this alternative so people know it exists and can look it up further. And also, these two books, by Peter Beckman and Ron Hatch, Einstein Plus Two and Escape from Einstein. They also have refutations for special relativity and general relativity and alternatives to time dilation and a lot more. Along with the solutions to binary pulsars 1913 and 1916. So pause the screen, zoom in, and see the mathematical proofs for yourself. Most people base their faith in relativity being valid from the claim that it's the only method to obtain the correct predictions for the perihelion of Mercury. But there is indeed an easier route to yield the same predictions and solutions using less math. There is not one aspect of relativity that cannot be better explained using a simpler solution, thanks to Dr. Edward Doughty's extinction shift principle. And this is a short glossary of terms so people can gain context to the extinction shift principle. And lastly, this is to satisfy those people who complain that they won't pay attention to anything unless there is a credible peer review. Okay, well, here it is from Dr. Edward Doughty, hosted by NASA and Harvard. He has 16 peer reviews, and this information has been available for decades.